Okay, let's start with science. Today we're going to talk about how making sounds louder. How can we create or make the sounds louder that we can listen? In the last class of science, remember we talked about how can we are how are we able to listen to different sounds? It's because we have our ears, remember? Because of that, and we describe the process, how we can perceive the sound. How can we perceive the sound? And we draw, we draw the different parts of the ear, the outer, the middle, and the inner ear. Remember that. Now let's talk about making sounds louder. Who can tell me how can we make the sounds louder? Throwing an object eh, más fuerte. Con más fuerza, I think. Okay, yes. Talking instruments? With an instrument. Which type of instruments can you use to make the sounds louder? Look at the picture here of that boy. La batería. Hey, ventilador. It's a fan? Do you think that it's yeah, a fan? It's a microphone. It's a microphone. It looks like a microphone. It's, rare. it's rare. This microphone. It's a microphone. He might be singing, right? So do you think that with that microphone, can we make the sounds louder? Yeah. yeah. Yes. yes. If you want to sing and you want everybody in your house listening to you, you might use a microphone. So everybody's going to listen to you, you and even your and all the people in your neighborhood. Now, what else? Do you know a more instrument, another things that we can use to make the sound louder? Because, uh, a guitar. Because, a guitar. You think that a guitar yeah. is going to make a sound louder? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. What else? Oh. A car, a car. A car, why a car can make it sound louder? Because when it's in the, in the calle, I don't know. The streets? In the streets and make it sound, the cars. And all the cars make it sound loud. Okay, okay. Now here I have a picture. Look at here, look at the difference. Have you ever seen this stethoscope? Yes. Yes. Why this? This is an example of making sounds louder. Why do you think that it makes the sound uh, louder? If I put it in a heart, the heart. Of the person, um, uh -huh. I listen to say boom, 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 boom. Mm, that's right. When you when you are walking or you are sitting, you cannot listen to the sounds of your heart, right? You, you don't listen to heart. Your how your heart is bumping. No, right? But if the doctor or if you have one in your house and a stethoscope you can listen that sound and it's going to be louder so this is an instrument for detecting the sound the sounds that they are produced by the body not just for the heart we can use an stethoscope to listen how it sounds the lungs or different parts of the body so the stethoscope is used for detecting sounds produced in the body excellent what about this object class the microphone <laughs> Yeah, yes, because if I am singing, I saw that. If you're singing, right? If you're singing, you want that everybody in your neighborhood, everybody at school wants to listen to you, you might use a microphone. But for example, when we're at school, we draw the examples. No, right now, no, right now. If you remember at school, when we have different activities, they use a microphone. So everybody at school can listen to what is the person is saying. Imagine that you're talking to everybody at school without using a microphone. They're not going to listen to you. But if you use a microphone, so this instrument is going to help you to have a sound louder. What about this, this one class? Oh, yeah, I'm uh, the same. Oh, I can't find things. If a person screams, a screams is louder. Hey, that's right. A bullhorn. This is another instrument that can make sound louder. It's the same. I eat like a microphone. A microphone. Have you ever seen a a uh, some persons or people that they are uh 
on the street and they are saying different things like le compro chatarra. I don't know, something like that. There is a bullhorn. Oh, there is a, this type of thing, yeah, bullhorn, right? Yeah, so yeah. everybody can listen that they are buying chatarra, they're buying refrigerators, old cell phones, all these things. So we can listen. They are, uh, uh, sometimes they are selling uh, some vegetables, some fruits. There is a bullhorn, so everybody can listen to them. So this instrument is going. Go. Yeah, sometimes we listen, so excellent. Now, here we have on the glossary in this page, B118, B119, we have more information about this, 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 this instrument, like this. Remember that when this, I, I have the picture here in the information. Doctors and nurses must listen to the sounds of your body, but not just of the heart. So here we have an stethoscope. Let's see, Rebecca, help me to read what the information about the stethoscope. Sorry. A stethoscope is an instrument used to yeah. listen to the sound of the heart and lungs. Doctors and nurses yeah. use stethoscopes. Ah. Sorry? Stethoscopes. A stethoscope in their work. A stethoscope creates sound and directs the sound wave into a person's ear. The sound wave can spring out. All the energy in the sound waves reach the ears. As a result, the sound are lowered. Excellent, perfect. So here is the information and we have a picture. That doctor in the picture, it is in this stethoscope. Look at this. So he is not just listening the heart, just not listening for the heart, it's even the lungs. The lungs to see if everything is working well, the body. So the lung sounds are louder because the sound waves are directed to its ears of the doctor by the stethoscope. So this instrument, this object can make the sound louder. Now, also we have the microphone. Which information we have about the microphone, Camila? A microphone can be used to amplify the sound on your voice. The woman in the picture is using a microphone to wave the woman's voice. Hit the microphone and make a part inside the microphone vibrate. So did you hear the microphone collects? The microphone collects the sound wave and changes the sound energy into electric energy or electric signal. The electric energy mouse throws a word microphone to amplifier. The amplifier makes the electric energy stronger and amplified. Amplified means to make stronger the change to the single back into sound waves, the woman's voice comes out of the speaker with more volume than the sound that impress the microphone. Excellent. Thank you so much, Camila. So we have the information about the microphone. Remember, it's also used to amplify the sounds of the boy because of the electric signals that you mentioned here. And amplify. Amplify means to make stronger. So amplify the voice of the girl that may, she might be giving a speech to everybody else. It might be an auditorium giving a speech. Now, what about the bullhorn? Lucia, help me to read the next one, please. A bullhorn has a real a microphone. A bullhorn can increase the energy of the sound waves made by their voice. Sound waves from a bullhorn can be heard much farther away than the area voice. That you speak into the mouth eyes of the bullhorn. The microphone changes the sound energy into electric energy. These signals travel to another part of the bullhorn that amplifies them. The amplifier signal then move into the speaker 
of the floor. The speaker changed the signals back into the sound waves that have more energy than use that entry the more time. Having more energy makes the sound louder. Perfect. Uh, that's Thank you. Right. We have a picture. Yes, the five four in the picture is using a bullhorn, as Lucia was describing. It's used so people can be far away and can listen the voice or why it's saying the person using a bullhorn. So it allows who is far away to hear the firefighter when it's saying everybody must leave with the place or it's a fire or something like that. So they might listen. It's Joshua, tell me, Joshua. Can I read or read? Okay, help me to read this, the part of the glossary. Okay. The glossary. Yes. Sorry, stethoscope. An instrument used to hear the sounds of body organs. Microphone, instrument to use to amplify voices, music and other sounds. Electric signal, a form of energy. Amplify to make stronger. Ballhorn, an instrument with a built-in microphone that makes sound louder. Excellent. So what we're going to do now, class, we're going to continue here with the reading of this part. We have another glossary. Continue with the reading of the glossary, Joshua. Hearing aid, an instrument used to help people with a hearing problem hear better. Excellent. What happens, class, when someone cannot hear like you can listen to? Like the people, the they people. put a like an instrument there, mm -hmm. and they can hear. They can hear. They can hear by the use of this instrument. That's why you. I don't have any familiars, or, or maybe yes, but no, I don't have familiars that use this 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 type of thing. Okay, yes. Some people, some people, they can listen they, since they were born, since they were babies. Or some people can start losing the hearing by the years. You see, there are some of your grandfather, grandmother, people that they are elder, they, they start losing the hearing. You are screaming and they, I cannot listen to you, they say. And maybe you might be screaming today. It's because they are losing the, the hearing. So there are an instrument that is called a hearing aid. It's an instrument used to help people with a hearing loss. So here you see, here is the instrument. There is the instrument, but here is describing how it has changed through during this whole time. At the beginning, it was like a hearing tube. They have like this tube. Look at this, if people have to wear a tube. And they have to sit close one another to use the hearing aid. So that the person that is next to the other for the other person must use like a like the other person like a microphone. So that person is using like a microphone, and the other person is going to listen to using this tube, the hearing tube. That it was at the beginning, long time ago. Then it says that the first hearing aids with the microphones in them were usually large and bulky. So they needed electricity to work. The person who wore them had to wear a battery pack. Now look at this. It's a normal one. There was a microphone and they need a battery. Imagine what happened if that person doesn't have more battery, is not going to listen, is not going to be able to hear. So that was one disadvantage. So it changed, it changed to this. During the 50, the 1950s and the 60s, a tiny battery was made that helped make hearing aids smaller. They look now this, in this way, not like a tube. At the beginning it was like a tube. Now they were smaller and they wore it behind the ear of a person eyeglasses. You see them, it looks like that, it's nowadays. Then in the 70s, a hearing aid could have fit in a person out of ear like this. 
but people still have problems with hearing aids. The hearing aid amplify background noises as well as voices. So they can listen all the noise, not just the voice of the person that is speaking to them. Also, they can listen all the noise. So it was like difficult for them to understand what they were listening to, to understand the voices. So then in the 70s, a hearing aid was made that could fit entirely in the ear canal. Look at this. It was like inside, like inside of them. And here we have the picture in the 80s and the 90s, the hearing aids have been made with digital controls now. With the advance of the technology, a person can put up the hearing aid to make hearing better. The batteries in the newer hearing aids also last longer. So now they have a battery, yes, but they are not going to be like in the previous times. Now it has to be with the advance of the technology, they can last longer than before. And this is an old picture even, we have until the 90s. Nowadays in 2022 that we are, they might exist new versions of these hearing aids, new instruments. Now, Let's let's copy here in the notebook class. In this minute, we're going to copy the meaning of the vocabulary words. We're going to copy the meaning of these two, four, six words and draw a picture to show. So we're going to draw a picture of a stethoscope, a microphone, and a ballpark. So we're going to draw these three uh -huh. objects and write the meaning of these words. Let's copy this. Can you copy the stuxons? Yes, copy everything. What were I going to write? What is in a stethoscope class? Let me write it down here so I'm not going to change the slide. And a stethoscope. I'm going to write it down. An instrument used to hear the sound. Hear the sounds of body organs. Remember that it's used for body organs. That is number one. Number two, a microphone. Why are we using microphone? A microphone is used, it's also an instrument used to amplify the voices, music and our instruments. Electric signal, it's a form of energy. Amplify, remember that it's, it's to make it stronger and it sound. Boom horn, it's another musical, uh, sorry, it's another instrument with a microphone that makes the sounds louder, so.
And the hearing aid, remember that that is the other definition, that it's another instrument that helps people with hearing problems hear better. There are the, the, the words from the vocabulary, but then you need to draw, draw a, test, a stethoscope, a microphone and a bullhorn. Remember, this is the stethoscope, a bullhorn and a microphone. That, here it is also the picture you can draw for him. I'm going to take the attendance class. Say present and viewer connected, please. Ana, Andre, and Camila. Present. Present. Okay, thank you. Gabriela, Isabel, and Chiara. Present. Present. Lucia, Mia, and Rebecca. Present. Present. Rosa, Valerie, and Sienna. Alberto, Dani, and Fernando. Present. 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 Hermes, Joshua, and Khaled. Present. Present. Marcelo, Santiago, Hernandez, and Santiago, Chavez. Three minutes class, three minutes to finish to copy and make the drawings. Finish, show me your novel color. Show me your drawings. And where are the drawings? The stethoscopic, the microphone, and the... Mm. The bullhorn, the three of them you need to draw. Yes. I didn't to go with them. Oh yeah, now I see that. Perfect. So Caleb, you are dismissed. You can disconnect. Remember science, you don't have homework on this week. I have, I have. Why is that the homework for today? Where? The homework for this week. Remember you have homework in Spanish. You have homework mm -hmm. in language. Mm -hmm. You have homework in reading. You have homework in math and homework on ESL. This by homework. Well, you don't have ESL, but yes, people that they have ESL, they have homework. Solo sería three, three. Four, Spanish, reading, language, and math. Spanish, reading, math. No, in ESL, seríamos tres, porque no tienen ESL. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Colette. Franny, show me your notebook. Me, show me your notebook. Me, what, what we have to do to draw? To draw. You need to draw in a stethoscope, microphone, and a bullhorn. The picture that you have here. Thank you, Donnie. Thank you. Good job. You are dismissed. 
Thank you, Camila. Thank you. You're dismissed. Bye-bye. See you later.